Hi friends, so nice to see you. You know, it's been very gloomy outside and... Huh? Why are you looking at me funny? Oh, this. You know, that's been happening a lot lately. Which means... Easter is coming up! That gives me a great idea! Why don't we make our very own Easter Bunny to help celebrate Easter? This is a fun, simple project you guys can do with mom and dad, older sibling, relative, friend. So, let me go get the materials ready. I'll be right back. Hi friends, welcome back. So, let me show you guys the materials we're gonna need. We're gonna need paper plate. This will be the bunny's head. We are gonna need some paper for the ears. We got glue, glue stick, whichever ones you have around. Some scissors, make sure you have an adult help you with this part. And of course we need pencil and markers. And you'll see why the pencil. So let's begin. First we're gonna get our paper plate. Now parents, if you'd like, you can give your child their marker already and they can start drawing their little faces for the Easter Bunny. But what I recommend is you guys draw out the face of the bunny first. You guys can make any face you like. Mine's looking pretty good. I am impressed with myself. Now the reason I recommend you guys draw the face first with the pencil and so you guys can give your child a marker so they can start tracing the face that you guys made. This will help with their fine motor skills and handling. I'm gonna give my bunny some little teeth right here. Perfect. And again, you guys can make any face you like. It can be simple, it can be complicated. Well, maybe not complicated because then your child won't be able to do it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give mine some little interactions. Perfect. So, there's my head. Now, this part, the fun part, is for the child. You guys can get any colors, any markers, any color pencils, whatever you guys have to start coloring your bunny. If you like, you guys can color the whole head one color. For me, because I'm a big fan of white bunnies, I'm just gonna color this part. So, I'm gonna make mine. Give it some pink ears. I mean, pink nose. Come on, my studio, get it together. All right. And then I'm gonna give her black eyes. And again, this part is for the child to color in and also have them trace pretty much whatever you drew with a pencil have them trace it with the marker that way they can work on their handling skills da -da 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 -da. perfect I'm gonna trace this part right here I always tell the kids, take your time, do not rush, cannot rush art, slow and steady. Ta-da! That's my bunny face. All right, let's move on to the ears. Now, the ears don't have to be too complicated. It's just a simple whoosh and whoosh. I'll show you. Parents, same thing with the bunny face. I recommend you guys dry it out with the pencil first, and then that way your child can trace it with the marker. Now I want my bunny to have big ears, so I'm going to try to use as much of the 
page that I can. And we'll do the same for this side. The ears don't have to match. Mine look way off, but I'm okay with that. So, I'll draw the inside of the ear. Perfect. Alright. Here comes the tracing part. <laughs> lovely, lovely. And then, since my bunny has a pink nose, I'm going to color the inside of her ears pink as well. Remember kids, all of this does not need to be rushed. You guys can take your time. Alright, next comes the scissors. This part, parents, you guys have a choice. You guys can cut it out yourselves, or you can have your child cut it out. It's a pretty simple cut. We're just gonna cut along side the ear right here. So, I'm gonna get started on mine. And remember, friends, slow and steady wins the race. Perfect. Now I got my two ears ready to go. All right, for the final part, we are going to give our bunny her little ears. So, got the ears. For this, I am going to use my glue. My glue. Now, I'm going to apply the glue on the front part of the ears because they will be attached to the back of the bunny. There's one ear, and there's a second ear. Ta da! So that is my little Easter Bunny. She's looking very lively and happy to see you guys as well, and hoping you guys are enjoying yourselves. Well, friends, I hope you guys had as much fun as I did creating our very own little Easter Bunnies in time for Easter. Thank you guys for joining me, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.